I would love to be the drummer of Rage Against the Machine if they ever got back together and, and did a tour and Brad Wilk was busy. Um, because <laughs> it's just that, as a drummer man, I mean that music is just so much fun. As a fan of Pearl Jam too, I, I actually, I used to be in a, in a Pearl Jam like cover band, so I pretty much know all their stuff. Um, so that would, <laughs> that'd be, that'd be sick too. Although, you know, Matt Cameron is, uh, is about as good a drummer as you're going to find, so they're probably not looking to replace him anytime soon. Great album that I, I think just came out, uh, NASA, their latest album, The Spirit of the Apollo, I think it's called. Um, it's great stuff, man. It's just you know very old school hip hop, uh, but with you know uh, very fresh kind of flavor and sound to it. My favorite bands of all time are uh, Tool and Pearl Jam. I think that they uh, sort of represent the full uh, spectrum of, uh, of you know American rock in a lot of ways. You know, Tool is sort of the, the more uh, the, the darker, more intense, introverted kind of stuff in Pearl Jam. I feel like. Is, is the more hopeful, uh, the, you know, it's like the dark and the light, it's all, and it all kind of meets up at the end. Well, I just heard Like a Storm uh, for the first time today, and uh, I gotta tell you, man, it's, it's, it's cool stuff. It's very, it got a very, uh, you know, Alice in Chains kind of feel to it, um, and uh, I love that, I love that, uh, you know, just that dark kind of pop rock. I, I think it's, I think it's fantastic, and, you know, I, I gotta tell you, man, just speaking in, in in, in broader terms, um, I really wish I would hear more stuff like that on the radio because there, 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 there. I mean, there is just so much, so much great music out there. Uh, so many great new bands. I, I, I hear people talk about, you know, uh, how like we're, we're past the golden age. Like the '70s was like this golden age. No, it, it's yes, it was. There is as much great music out there today as there has ever been. The problem is that the radio just refuses to expose us to about 95% of it, which is just, it's, it's a damn shame.